Let's catch up with the news from the world of entertainment. In the newest Marvel movie, Natalie Portman becomes a superhero. Tessa Thompson's Valkyrie is flirting with all the girls while talking about her girlfriend troubles. The Rockman Korg has babies with his boyfriend and Zeus gets Thor naked. Watch this. They're in the Shadow Realm. How'd you know? The atmosphere there has a darkness like no other. It's as if color fears to tread. It's unmistakable. Well then, if it's color we need, Let's bring the rainbow. Bring the rainbow? Is that a catchphrase or something? She's only been a Thor for a minute. I mean, saving lives, she's quite good at, but the rest of it, she needs work. How many catchphrases have there been? A lot. Yep, jump the gun. Well, hang on, he moves through shadows and he's going to the shadow realm. It seems like that's where he's going to be the most powerful. You're right, we can't just go marching in there. It could be a trap. Are you thinking what I think you're thinking? I'm thinking it. What are we thinking? Thinking what? I'm thinking it too. Omnipotency. Our celebrity headline for the week, Love and Thunder is gayest Marvel movie ever, starting with Thor. What do you guys think? Has anybody seen Thor yet? Not yet, but I do. Oh, ooh. Ooh. oh yeah, what's ooh, this? Hello, we're going to see oh, Thor now. Now I'm watching <laughs> Thor. <laughs> I need to um, cancel our dinner reservation. <laughs> <laughs> see Thor. Can we go to the movies instead? <laughs> this guy's got such an amazing body. Amazing. Like, he is just like His muscles have muscles. And so, <laughs> and so now in this, did everybody see the first Thor or another Thor that he was yeah, in? Yeah, yeah. One yeah. of the original Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just so sexy. So in this Thor, now he's got a girlfriend. Now he's got a woman. And it's Natalie Portman who also was in Star Wars back in the day, yeah. right? Yeah. And she, I mean, she was Princess she was Padme. Padme. Princess Padme, who I named my, my dog after. Aww. Yeah. And, and she looks flawless. Unlike Justin Timberlake, she is aging beautifully. Yeah, she looks Justin incredible. I like I, wait, I thought Justin Timberlake was in that clip. He was that big sort of like shaggy <gasps> rock the looking shake, guy. The shake. Oh. The shake. Yeah. I would watch them have sex though. Um, I read somewhere that they cut out a lesbian kiss in this movie, which I'm like confused about. Because, I think it was I mean, the previous film. I think, I think it was Ragnarok. They, they, it was the one they, before, yeah. right? Don't pretend okay. you don't know, you know. Uh, Sean knows everything. <laughs> I will randomly send him a text about random shit that like happened three years ago. Hey, do you know this guy? This, this happened to this guy down in Miami Beach uh, back at this time, blah, blah, blah. Well, you know, can you look it up? Yeah, sure. I know what happened. He was out at 11.15. He had picked up a colada. He went down 8th Street. That's where that happened. I'm like, damn. I like smart cookie. Everything. Smart I like it. Well, definitely got to go see Thor, though. Yeah, yeah. I'd watch that in a movie. I'd watch really him have sex. It. Me yeah. too. And, I and, it, and, it's, and, it's, and even though he's part of the Avengers team, he is... This is really like one of the most silly franchises of the Marvel universe. Like Iron Man and Robert Downey Jr., he sort of brought a gravitas to the thing. They've really lightened up yeah. the MCU since we most recently Very saved the world. Very sticky, well, right? It is. It is. It's self-deprecating. It is. Yeah. And it's it going to be really interesting to see where all of these Marvel movies go now because... You, you, you Avengers two or Will whatever it was called was like that. Well, and that's the thing; they're going to con continue to pump out these movies. Are they going to be sillier? Are they going to be more adventurous? Gayer. Okay, there's so many di directions where they could go. Honestly, as a person who watches Marvel movies and superhero movies, I will stop whenever you know Captain America's on. Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah but do you remember like back when X Men was a thing and like the storylines were serious? Mm -hmm. but, you know, there was very little slapsticky or funniness to it. It was like you know, and I related to it as a queer too. person because it was these people with superpowers that nobody really understood them and they had to stick together for the greater good and yeah. you no know, very and very similar to us and our chosen family it was you know? always a metaphor for lgbtq people mm -hmm. like i mean x-men x-men's always i've always been a nerd i used to read x-men it's like i've never been a comic book nerd but i read i guess i was but i i've definitely read x-men and i love the movies but they haven't really made a new one in a while like, no, maybe well, there's I a million it, others to yeah. see I, I well and also i think x-men was one of the franchises that was produced over at sony, sony. fox oh. exactly so original so they didn't really have the yeah. same uh brain uh trust right. that they had over at at Marvel and Marvel or at Disney Marvel and yeah. and I think Disney Marvel took a a, a more lighthearted approach mm -hmm. to contrast against just the gloom and doom of Batman and mm, all the other sense. movies that, that failed. Yeah. But do you think these storylines are just getting too crazy? I think there's just but life uh, is crazy. So a, like how a man dressed in an iron suit isn't crazy. I mean I'm into it. We all have our don't don't no, kink but shame. Mean, like, <laughs> don't, kink shame. <laughs> don't kink shame Scott. <laughs> <laughs> there comes, comes a time where it's like, you know, you go to the movies to escape reality. Yeah. yeah. You know, to be able to enjoy something not of this world, you know, and just something imaginary. Yeah. But at some point, it's going to become a little bit too close to home and 
maybe too political. That's how I felt about the last Joker movie with, with, with what's well, his face. That was a, but that was that a different was, story, it was so Like intense. That was so dark that so I, could dark. Not, I could not finish yeah. watching it. It was that hard movie. to watch. Right, but that's the DC universe. And, and I, like I said, I, I think that um, Marvel has tried to just draw a line to say we're not going to be this, yeah. you know, um, doom, but not quite as much gloom. Right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. th- does anybody know? I keep hearing that Joker 2, the sequel, is in production. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that Lady Gaga is playing the Harley Quinn character, and oh. it's going to be a musical. And I've seen this really? enough. You don't even watch TV. How do you know this, Scott? I read. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I don't no. It, it, <laughs> honestly, it was like, how would they go from that Oscar winning Joker dark to a sequel? It doesn't even that's, make sense. It doesn't make any sense, yeah. but if you, if you Google it, there are plenty of credible people hmm. saying it's in production. And wow. I mean, here's the thing. You put Lady Gaga, you add her name to anything. People yeah. are going to watch it. People are going to be intrigued. Yeah. Yeah. True. But did we see House of Gucci? I did see. I Hello. Love Father, it. son, and House okay. of Gucci. Yeah, no, no, oh, yes. That was terrible. It was but terrible. she was great she in was. Hotel. Hotel. Oh, I My haven't seen it. American Horror Story Hotel. Hotel. Yes, she was. Favorite. I'll watch yes, that. Yes, she was. Yeah. Okay. And that's Assignment for today. Yeah, no, you need to watch it. Yeah, absolutely. Lady Gaga, whatever you do. We love you. I do love her. I liked how she's Gucci, coming in like but... oh, no, you're wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but good, good job. Good job. All right. LGBTQ plus news is vital for our community and for the broader world as a whole. We have enough enemies at Fox News. Tucker, Sean, and Lara are loud. We need passionate allies. Happening Out Television Network, Queer News Tonight, and It's Happening Out are literally out of the closet and into the headlines. Our community needs your support. Like this broadcast and subscribe now to ensure the growth of the entire LGBTQ plus community.